Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayastek. In today's tutorial, we will dive deep into one of uh, the Angular 18's powerful features, Dynamic Component Rendering. Whether you are building a complex dashboard, a content management system, or any application that requires dynamic content loading, this tutorial will show you how to implement it efficiently. Before we jump into the code, let's understand what dynamic components are and why they are useful. Dynamic components allows us to load and render components programmatically at runtime rather than having them statically defined in our templates. This gives us incredible flexibility in creating responsive and adaptable user interface. Let's start with the simplest way to load components dynamically using ng component outlet. So this is very basic dynamic component loading. So in my Angular project, I will generate a new component for the demonstration. Run the command ng generate c profile. That would generate a profile component for us in the profile folder. Now inside the profile.component.ts, I will define the input. Make sure to import the input from the Angular slash core and give it the name user type and the possible types would be admin are standard so only these two string values be provided to this input now i will define a function below this get bio component and this would return this dot user type if user type is equal to admin then we will use the admin bio component but if user type is standard then we will return the standard bio component okay Obviously, we have to generate these components. So let's generate them one by one. But before that, we are getting this TypeScript error that is saying that user type has no initializer. So here you can give it a default value as well if you want to like this admin. And after that, I'm going to generate another component and you generate C bio that would generate the bio component here. And within that component HTML, I will simply add some div within that i will add text admin profile content save it now we need to import this admin bio component actually the name of this component is bio i will just put admin before it so now we can import this component admin bio component now we need to generate another bio component ng generate c standard bio press enter so the standard bio component has been generated now we can import this as well. Make sure to import both of these components from the relevant paths. Similarly, in the standard bio component, you can make changes in this text. But for now, let's keep it as it is. So here in the profile.component.html, I will replace it with a div and then we will put h2 tag user profile. And after that, I will add the ng container like this. And here I will add a directive ng component outlet is equal to get bio component so we just have to call this function this would return us the relevant component that we want to use okay so we already have defined it in our component class here okay now in order to see it in action we have to import this component in the app component.ts so put it in the import array profile component like this make sure to import it like this okay so now we will go to the app.component.html and, and here i will just add the selector of this component app profile save it now here you will see we can see the user profile okay so this user profile is basically coming from the profile.component.html and now let's go to the app.component.html and from here I will pass the user type and I will select the standard this time. Reload it. Nothing works. Let's see what is going on there. So in order to make them work, we have to include both of these components in the import array like this. Okay. Okay. At the moment it is not working. The reason is that when you use this uh, directive that is starting with star most of the time you need to import the common module okay if you import that you will notice that standard bio works is visible and now if you go back to the app.component.html and change from standard to admin you will notice that the content has been replaced so if you go to the inspect element and observe the selectors you will notice we are showing the app dash bio 
component here along with all of its content but if you change it from admin to standard then you will notice that now we have the app dash standard dash bio okay now let's look at more programmatic approach using the view container ref so for that i'm going to generate a new component now just type ng generate c for component dynamic dash content press enter the component has been generated now go to the html of this newly generated component ts file html file and here i will add the div within that div i will add a button with the text load dynamic content and on that button i will add the click event that would call load component function okay and after that i will create a div with our template reference variable i will name it content container okay now go to the dynamic content dot component dot ts and here i will simply add view child decorator and here you have to specify the exactly same name that you have defined here as the template reference variable so use the same name here to target the correct element now after that add a comma pass an object and read should be view container ref okay and here we need to add a name of the variable that would we would be using within this component class that is container and the type of this container would be view container ref okay we have imported all of uh, these classes already so now you can proceed here we have to define the missing function that is load component and here i will add this dot container dot clear this would clear the existing content then i will create and insert the new component so create a constant component ref is equal to this dot container dot create component and we need to pass the component class that we want to load dynamically okay so currently i don't have a new component either i can create a new component or i can use any of these ones so actually let's use the existing component standard bio component in this way okay save it now with that the component would be loaded within this container but there is another optional thing that you can do you can optionally pass the inputs to this component if there are any inputs defined within that component you can very easily pass those inputs for example for that you will do component ref dot instance dot data is equal to title dynamic content title and you can pass any other inputs if you want to we are getting this error because we did not define any input with that name so you can go to that component standard bio component and here you can define an input like this input and data of type title string and we can make it optional okay now you will notice that this error has gone now instead of using the profile directly i will use the dynamic content component in the app dot component so for that i will remove the profile component from the imports array and i will add dynamic content component and now in the html i will just delete it and add app dynamic content and save it okay at the moment there is just a button and if you click on that the standard bio component would be loaded just to show you i will open the inspect element and show you the elements here this is our container where it would be loaded so if you click on that it would be loaded here with and this is the name of the component that was loaded okay i will generate another component just to show you so this new component is dynamic content child press enter and here instead of standard bio component i will add dynamic child component and i will just comment this out because the data input is not defined yet there so just reload it and if you click on that now we are seeing the content of the new child component that we just generated and now let's quickly go there and define some inputs like instead of data i will define title directly of type string and input here you can say it content string okay now go to the html and here you can add h1 and interpolate the title variable also show the content variable all right now click on that at the moment we did not pass any input 
that's why it is not visible so go back to the dynamic content dot component dot ts and here uncomment this line and instead of data pass the title by the way the nice thing that i really like is that you will also see suggestions for all of the inputs that are available to use for you so we have defined two inputs so both suggestions are here you can use them so hello world save it we got the hello world but we did not pass the content yet so let's pass the content as well content is equal to this is our content save it now you can see we have the title and the content so this is the simplest example to show you how you can generate the dynamic component with the simple approach that we did in the profile dot component dot ts are with the more advanced approach that you will be doing programmatically so this approach is more flexible with more possibilities so you can use any of these options whichever is better for your use case so this approach gives us more control over component life cycle and allows us to manipulate the component instance directly next we will explore how to lazy load component for better performance okay so for that i will generate another component with the name ng generate c it would be lazy content press enter the component would be generated here okay this is the component and in this html i will add a div first then we will add a button and on that button i will add a text load advanced features and on the button i will add a if condition ng if is equal to advanced component is not there then don't show this button because we are now lazily loading so there is a chance that component is not available yet so here i also want to register a click event with the function load advanced features so just call it fix it okay now after that button i will add ng container and here i will add the ng component outlet is equal to advanced component okay now in the component class first of all i will add the common module because we are using ng if okay now here i will create a property advanced component of type any then i will create a function async load advanced features and try catch would be there okay in the try block i will dynamically import the component by using constant module await import here we need to uh, import the advanced component but for that i will generate it first so run the command ng generate c advanced features press enter okay the component has been generated now we have to find the folder and select the correct component in this way okay once that is done we will use this dot advanced component and assign it a value from the module dot advanced features component okay and in the catch if something was wrong then we will simply show the error in the logs fail to load component error okay we will go to the app.component.ts and let me remove any unused components and this as well and here instead of that i will add lazy com content component and now in the app.component.html i will add app dash lazy content okay we got the load advanced features so just to show you that it is now uh, being loaded lazily go to the network tab so instead of fetch keep open the all tab and clear everything hit the load and you will see as soon as i hit that button a file with the name chunk was loaded if you open that you will find the name of this component somewhere look at this advanced features dot component and you can already see the content of that component if you go to the inspect element you will also see the name of the selector of that component so that shows you how you can import lazily any component so this imp implementation demonstrates how to load components on demand reducing the initial bundle size of your application all right in this tutorial we have covered various approaches to implementing dynamic components in angular 18 we started with basic ng component outlet moved on to more flexible view container ref and finally explored lazy loading for optimal performance 
I hope this tutorial helped you to understand dynamic component rendering in Angular 18. Don't forget to like and subscribe to IASTEC for more Angular tutorials. And if you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.